here with Rudy at k, &K Food Liner. Yesterday Eric was able to harvest his first ever antelope, but we're going to break this down in stages that will help you out in the field butcher and debone any big game animal. There's a few basic cuts. We're going to start with each flank, getting the shoulder off, and then breaking down and deboning your hind quarters, as well as taking out your steaks and your tenderloins. We're going to start off by taking off the front shoulders. It's good to give it a little pull, separate it a bit, and just follow pretty much the, the bubbles. And there's the front leg. All right, now our next step is to remove the flanks. What you want to do is make sure you got a two inch hole away from your tenderloins, and then you can go ahead and make the cuts. Right off. A little bit of meat here on an animal. Now normally on a, on a deer, a moose, elk, a bigger game animal, you'll have a little bit more meat. And this meat is great for uh, stew or hamburger meat. Nice little hamburger piece or stew. All right, so now breaking down this hind quarter, our first cut is gonna be removing these sirloin tips. So you'll see you got your knee. Right here, you come under the joint and just make the cut right here to the bone. Yeah, and just follow it down. So you get to that joint, hold that piece of meat back up where it came from. Right over. There you go. Good. And there you go. And this piece is a great steak, roast, turkey, good chunk of meat. Okay, same to the other side. Just come a hair underneath that bone. Make that cut. And straight. Down. There you have it. The socket. So your cut is like this then, all the way to the back. Yeah. And then you come with your knife and you just peel it out and it's like a saddle. Okay. So that yeah. is a sirloin butt. You cut it into steaks like that. Perfect. On an elk or moose it's about this big. Now I do the same to that side. Okay. So this little, these are the sterling steak pieces. We're going to go a little under the joint. Go up there. All the way to the back. Hold your knife level with the floor. All the way to the spine. There you go. So here's the joint that we're talking about. An inch below it, make your cut straight across all the way to the back of the spine. And then you just goop it out. And that's sirloin. Yeah. All right, so one of my one of my favorite things is taking out the tenderloin. Rudy's kind of cleaned it up here a bit because it's sat for a day, but you just take your finger and... You just kind of grab it with your hand. And you can see how it's not wasting any of the meat there. to now remove the rest of this hind quarter. There you go. Once you cut that cord, things go easier. There you go. Roasts. And you can see a knuckle pops right off. Just one little tendon eventually and no wasted meat for very little waste of meat. So you want to go like that. Here's that saddle that we took that uh, sirloin uh, steak out of. Go up. We're going to make a cut here all the way across. 
keep them level and then break it in half. So again, this um, back strap piece is a perfect package. Clean it up a little bit. This is my personal preference on how I like to do things, is freeze this hole. That way you eliminate your freezer burn. Obviously, if you're cutting them individually, there's that many more little pieces that are gonna end up with edges that have freezer burn. This being whole, you might end up with a little on the edges. You clean it up and you still have a great piece of meat that you can cook whole and then when it's almost done, you can cut it into your steaks afterwards. Okay, so what I've done is I make a cut here about two to three ribs down where I can get my hand in for a good handle when I'm, when I'm gonna make my cut. That way I can control the upper end of the animal, the neck and the rest of the ribs without it falling. Now that this piece here, a lot of people can work on this on a table and you can go ahead, you can get your neck meat out. Um, we can cut any rib meat if I want to make my ribs or pull off any of this for burger or stir fry. So that legs just like the other one, you just cut yeah. around that knuckle. So this is an antelope, but I'm going to show you as if this was an elk um, still hanging. So you just cut around. So here you go. We got a nice, beautiful chunk of meat that we can cut into a roast or steak. Jerky. Jerky, the good big chunks of, uh, of meat in this uh, hind quarter to get nice big jerky pieces. And we got a little bit left for the dog. Thank you for watching this segment. Please feel free to leave any comments on tips that you may have. If you guys aren't comfortable in uh, cleaning and deboning your animal and you're around the city of Edmonton, just bring it all down to K&K &K and uh, let them do their magic. All right, well that wraps it up. Thank you again, Rudy. Yeah, very well. It was educational for myself and hopefully for everybody at home. Stay tuned for more <laughs> tips and highlights.